up next on Media One News. On this week's Match Point Atlanta, the Alta Spring season is officially complete. But this team doesn't look too upset about it. It feels <laughs> great! We're going to the farm! Winners all around on tonight's show. A look at the professionals. Boy, they think they're so good. And this. Good him back here. We'll go three sets with the good teams and great teams on tonight's Max Point Atlanta. Hey, Atlanta from center court at the International Tennis Center near Stone Mountain Park. Hi, I'm Steve McCoy. And I'm Leslie Carlson. Don't forget to catch those women's hard courts happening here in August. But first, to the local scene. Yeah, Alta has just finished up their season, and USTA is about to begin in the middle of June. The fun part, if you've never played USTA, it includes singles and doubles. That it does. So call the local USTA office for more information, and don't forget to attend the USTA extravaganza happening here at the park soon. All right, our show is packed tonight. So let's get going with a look at the Atlanta tennis scene. The surface remains the same for the Atlanta touring pros this week and next, but maybe the red clay of Roland Garros will remind Lindsey Lee, Doug Flack, and T.J. Middleton even more of home. Oh, yeah. Both top 100 doubles players, Flack and Middleton, are in Paris even as we speak, waiting for their first round doubles match. And what was Doug's advice for T.J.? He's advising me that I should win the French Open, which sounds like a pretty good idea to me. And maybe not that unlikely. Black and Middleton did well together at the Australian Open, taking a set off the Woodies. I feel like uh, Doug and I, we play well together. And if we play well and do our best, I think the sky's the limit really for us. I mean, he returns very well, and we both play well. We play well together, and we enjoy it. Well, why wouldn't you enjoy it? Paris in May, all the sights? Well, that's not always great if you're trying to get your game in shape. Probably about... 80% uh, adjusting, adjusting to everything except your tennis. And uh, there's the, the food is different, the, the language is different, the language barrier. And there's a lot of things to deal with on the tour besides just uh, uh, the tennis. Atlanta pro and Georgia Tech grad Kenny Thorne said it's great to have your family and wife along, but... I would go and play tennis, come back, and uh, she would have the whole rest of the day. Planned out. I was ready to back out in the hotel and, and get a little nap, and she had uh, a ton of things uh, to do. Kenny is sitting out this year's French Open, but look for him to have a back injury recuperated by Wimbledon. On the women's side, Lindsay Lee had to reach the quarterfinals of the qualifying rounds to make the main draw this year. She's had a tough year on the tour so far and hopes to improve on a first-round loss last year in Paris. Well, I, of course, I hope to do better. I think I'm playing... Um, 10 times better from whenever I was there last, and I'm just going to, you know, go out there and play one match at a time. Among Lindsey, Doug, and TJ, there's a chance someone will still be playing next week. Uh, we certainly would like to make uh, at least a quarter of the French Open, and uh, Doug has done well at Wimbledon, and I, I made the finals with Lori McNeil in the mixed doubles, so we had a taste of what it's like to, to get those victories, and uh, I really think that would, uh, a quarter of semi showing in either one would be to be outstanding for us. Welcome back to Match Point Atlanta. I'm Leslie Carlson here at the International Tennis Center at Stowe Mountain Park, where of course you will not forget to watch those women's hard courts coming up here in August. But now back to that addictive social and athletic challenge we call League Tennis. And then stick around afterwards to catch our Team of the Week brought to you by Serious Tennis. The 1997 out to spring season is in the history books after the men and business women completed their city finals this past weekend. Some exciting tennis on all levels and a sight you see about as often as Haley's Comet. In the men's A2, the Duluth High School 4s and 5s defeated Sports Life Club Cobb at exactly the same time. But I, I actually caught it. I could see that our point actually ended a fraction of a second before the five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just wondering who was going to get off the court first because both guys are greedy, they love to win, and everybody wants to claim that they were the big winners of the day. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to win first. <laughs> so, they, so they both finished at the exact same time. The Brickton Station Business Women's C1 team captured the big play, and one of their players, Sandra Henderson, was part of another rare occurrence. Her husband Andy and daughter Andrea were also in the city finals on their own team, after battling their opponents and the humidity, all of these winners were ready to celebrate. Excited, happy, ready to have a party. <laughs> it feels great! 
<laughs> We're going to the farm. Thanks a lot. So now let's take a look at all of the winners from the Business Women's City Finals. And finally, all of the men's winners. Congratulations to all the champs, and remember, treasure that plastic. our travels we'd have to think hard to recall a more organized disciplined squad than the Eagle Watch men's 3.5 team. Captain J.W. Nystrom is drilling his players like summer campers and it's paid off. And they've uh, been out here almost every day throughout uh, the summer and fall uh, in preparation for this event and they've helped each other, encouraged each other and they're a great bunch of guys. The reason for all the drills, routines, and instructions? Uh, this will be the first time that a uh, men's USA, USDA team has made it to the district, and so they've got a heavy burden to, uh, to, uh, to shoulder. They won city at USDA 3.5 last summer after winning 90% of their matches and are in Macon competing for the state USDA title even as we speak. Well, maybe this doesn't look like your team practice, but that's okay with the captain. If, uh, managed to put together a nice record and they're hopeful that they're going to come back with uh, with all the gold from the uh, district the state championship in macon hi i'm dina buzzy with serious tennis we're here to congratulate jw his team from eagle watch is the 3.5 usda city champ and they've also been selected max point atlanta's league team of the week congratulations thank you Coming up on Match Point Atlanta, mind games from the pros to your team. And we'll sit down with another guru. Plus, your opinion and this. These are our backhand ground strokes, right? <laughs> so you're serious about getting your game in shape? Then get serious about your gear before you hit the court. Introducing Serious Tennis, Roswell's only full-service tennis store featuring the Red Hot line of vocal rackets. By now, you've heard about the big grommet system and hotspot technology for consistent winners off the vocal sweet spot. Vocal is serious tennis. And speaking of serious, you'll love the huge selection of tennis dresses, footwear, and clothing for the entire family. ATP Tour Caliber Stringing also available. That's serious. Two miles west of 400 at Mansell Road and Alpharetta Highway. Ready to enjoy this great Atlanta weather? Then head out to any Metrotainment Cafe restaurant. Great food and breezy outdoor dining are available at Einstein, Filibusters, or Cow Tippers. Or stop by Mystical Pizza, Cheyenne Grill, or the Martini Club. Six Atlanta favorites, where your table is waiting. Tennis fans, South Carolina's Strip Island Resort is ready for your best game this summer. Just 20 miles from historic Buford, Strip Island Resort offers the best of tennis and beachside paradise. Stay with Strip Island Resort and start off your first match with a free hour of tennis on clay or hard court. After a few sets, enjoy a stroll down three and a half miles of Atlantic Beach on this private island intimate shopping, dining, and lots of tennis. Reserve a villa or a rambling oceanfront house. At Trip Island Resort, our mission is seaside simplicity. Fun, energy, and lots of tennis have returned to the Racket Club of the South. Now in the old WCT location in Norcross, Racket Club of the South is offering memberships with perks you'll have to see to believe. For starters, how about eight air-conditioned indoor courts and 18 outdoor courts? Or work out in the brand new fitness center, complete with luxurious new locker rooms. Afterward, sample cuisine from the new sports grill and dining room. It's a brand new game at the Racket Club of the South in Peachtree Corner, Atlanta's only tennis country club. Ask about memberships today. You're watching Match Point Atlanta, Atlanta's only local tennis television program. Have a story idea? Want to brag on your team? Need sponsorship information? Call Match Point Atlanta at 404-634-7373. Welcome back to Match Point Atlanta, everybody. I'm Steve McCoy here at the beautiful Tennis Center at Stone Mountain Park. As a matter of fact, the hardcore tournament for women is coming here in August, so make plans to join us. 
Well, right now, enjoy our search for the hottest and best stories on tennis in Atlanta. Jarrett Shelton is four years old and a tennis player. He's been taking lessons for a year. Dunwoody Tennis School's Tennis for Tights program. The program comes complete with a miniature tennis court and tight-sized racket. It's a program for kids aged three and a half to eight. And um, I was actually one of the first pros in the country to develop a program for uh, this age group, which is highly specialized and uh, requires lots of special equipment. Ready position. Good. Ready position. It's never too early for kids to learn the basics, and Jarrett shows what early coaching can do. Mostly we just want to have something we can all do as a family if we go to a resort area or we go to a vacation area. Um, <laughs> as you can see, he really likes to hit the ball. For him, back kick. He, he's able to really focus and concentrate and make good contact with it. And of course, the more he hits it, the better he likes it. Tice Tennis for Tights program is designed to teach eye-hand coordination and get kids interested in the game. But you don't have to be a member of the Sesame Street set to take up tennis. The Southern Tennis Association Play Tennis America is hitting tennis courts all over Atlanta bringing beginners of all ages onto the court. The Racket Club of the South is one of the clubs participating in the program. Well, Play Tennis America does two different things. One, it generates enthusiasm for tennis in general. And it creates an interest in tennis, and it gets somebody just, it, it kickstarts kick them into tennis. The cost of the summer program is cheap, making it available to anyone that wants to learn. Your first three lessons, in fact, are free. So you come out, you take your first three lessons, get you started, and then the next four lessons are a pretty minimal cost, somewhere around $10 per lesson. There you go. Good. So whether you're four or 40, it's never too early or late to pick up a racket. Hello, I'm Tom Shipp from the Atlanta Professional Tennis Umpires Association with this week's Match Point Challenge. Each week we'll test your knowledge of tennis rules. Now watch this situation and see if you can make the correct call. Matt! This ball was in my way. A ball from a previous point or a first serve fault was left on the court. During the point, a player stops play and calls a let because the ball is in her way. What is the ruling? A. The entire point is replayed. B. In this case, only the opponent can call a let. Or C. Both teams have accepted the ball as part of the court. Neither can call a let. The person who stopped play loses the point. Stick around, we'll have the answer for you in just a moment. Do you know the answer? Then if it's Wednesday night, call now to win a $25 gift certificate to any Metro Tainment Cafe restaurant. Cool patio, warm service. It's as easy as ABC. So if it's Wednesday evening, call now and win. I'm Terry Graff, head professional here at the International Tennis Center at Stone Mountain Park. On today's segment of Why Your Team Isn't Winning, we're going to talk about shot selection. Shot selection is simply the shots you're choosing when you're about to hit the ball. Without improving one single stroke in your game, if your shot selection improves, you will improve automatically. The two things that influence shot selection the most are the position of the ball when you're about to hit it and the position of your opponent when you're about to hit your shot. If you have the ball in an offensive position, you want to hit an offensive ground stroke or offensive lob to try to set your team up for the kill. If you're in a defensive position, you may be able to pull out the shot of your life to win the point, but a smarter shot would be a deep, well-placed lob to allow your team to recover. The trickiest part of shot selection may be the neutral ball. For example, a low volley. You're not in offense, you're not in defense. What you want to do with this is find the opponent farther away from the net, hit the ball to them, and then you sort of reset the point. Remember, shot selection is extremely important in doubles. Just think about that the next time the opposing net player crushes the ball past you, maybe you should have hit it to his partner standing on the baseline. Once again, I'm Terry Grass. Stay tuned for the answer to this week's challenge. This ball was in my way. You should always clear, or ask your opponent to clear, any ball that's lying on the court and may interfere with play. Having failed to do so, neither team can call a left. Even if the ball in play should strike the ball on the court. 
So C is the correct answer. Well, that's this week's Match Point Challenge. We hope you got the correct answer. If you'd like information about becoming a certified tennis official, call us at 770-998-5174. Well, I'm Tom Schiff reminding you that the rules of tennis are there to make the game fair for everyone. See you next week. Coming up on Match Point Atlanta, another tennis newsmaker sounds off on the game while a not-so-famous person does the same. Plus, more instruction. And yeah, these guys. I mean, they're the visitors that never leave. Hang around. Hi, I'm Chef Bernard from the Cooper School of Cooking in Alpharetta. Join us this week on our show as we put together a wonderful, simple cheesecake with fresh strawberries and some chilled mango and cantaloupe soup. We have a great dessert class coming for you. So, join us this week. Ciao. Watch Cooking with Bernard Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. on Media One News, Channel 33. Steve McCoy of Star 94 for my favorite pastime. You got it! There's nothing I enjoy more than ALSA, USDA, and Atlanta Tennis. So it's only natural that I host Atlanta's first tennis television program. It's called Match Point Atlanta on Media One News 33. Everything you love about tennis. League news, professional coverage, instruction, and a few giveaways. Yeah, obviously can't stay on the court with this, sir, but you can. Watch Match Point Atlanta on Media One 33 this spring and summer. If you're tired of diets that don't work, try the new diet pills. Fin Fin and Redux. Metro Health Center has the new diet pills you've heard about and seen on TV's 2020 and Day One. Metro Health Center gives you the body you want and restores the confidence you get when you feel good about yourself. You reap the benefits of the exciting new diet pills, Fin Fin and Redux. For a limited time, first visit just $70. Call Metro Health Center today and feel better tomorrow. here for Gallery Furniture. Wolfman better look out because everyone agrees that Gallery Furniture has the best selection of furniture. Everything for your home. Just look at this five-piece bedroom suit, $499, and curio cabinet, $99 and up. We all agree that selection wins at Gallery Furniture. We're located at 2511 Roosevelt Highway in College Park and 1600 Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Wolfman's outnumbered this time. So ask right for Donna. I usually get it in Malta and not that much in USTA. And the last time I did, I just left in tears. Sometimes you can't help it. Uh, usually at least uh, several times in a match. Hi, I'm Tony Nyland, director of tennis at the Racket Club of the South in Norcross. And my tennis tip of the week will be on the serve. And on the serve, I'll be singling out the toss, which is 90% of the problem most players have on the serve. There are three basic serves we use, which is the slice serve, the flat serve, and the kick serve. And those three tosses all vary slightly, as I'll demonstrate. Your uh, slice serve is a slightly wider toss, 1-1-30 one, one timing, and the flat serve about 12 o'clock, and um, your spin kick serve flat inside 12 o'clock, as I'll demonstrate right now. Here's the slice serve. Touch the body. Flat serve. And the kick serve. Those are three basic serves we, we, we find used most commonly in Atlanta. Um, if you remember, you want to serve into the forehand corner. Your throw ball slightly wide on the slice serve. One o'clock, one thirty. Pull it across your body. The twelve o'clock toss is for the big flat serve, and just inside of twelve o'clock is your big kick serve, which kicks onto the backhand corner. I'm Tony Nyland, and that's my tennis tip of the week. Hello, this is Todd Holcomb with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and I'm at the International Tennis Center at Stone Mountain Park, site for the U.S. Women's Hardcourt Championship in August. And joining me today is Chad Paulson, a senior at Holy Innocent School in Atlanta and a signee with the University of Georgia next year, and also a top 10 senior player. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Todd. You've had a pretty impressive year this year. Um, last year you were ranked 10th, I think, and uh, you're probably 
uh, one of the top five juniors returning this year. Can you tell me a little bit about the success you've had so far? Um, well, I opened up the year. I played the junior spring swing in um, Aiken, South Carolina, and I had a great weekend. Um, I won that event. And second time in a row you've won that, I believe. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, then I went out to the Easter Bowl in Miami, Florida, and um, just had a terrific week. I was seated eighth and finished second, and it was just a great experience. Were you a little surprised at how well you did? I mean, being seated eighth, and that's essentially the top, all the top senior players in the country in the major final. Um, yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I knew I had um, the ability to do it, but, you know, it was going to take a great week. Um, all eight of us are the top eight juniors in the country. We're so close, you know. I mean, we go back and forth beating each other, so really it's just going to be whoever came out and was ready to play. Right, and that, of course, that tournament was held in Miami, and as, as one of the top junior players, um, you obviously do a lot of traveling uh, during the year, and I'm just kind of interested in how, how much time you spend playing tennis and then how you're able to kind of support yourself if you're going from coast to coast. Um, well, as far as um, how many hours I've spent on the court, um, in the past it's been the philosophy of my dad and um, the coach of the Atlanta Tennis Academy to um, keep my hours down on the court. Um, that way I can kind of peak in college and beyond and not burn out in the juniors. Um, only really in the last six months have I really been able to like train on the level of most of the people that I compete against. And um, as, fun as far as funding goes, um, in the past Alpha um, has been able to support me um, because I'm a member of the, the Alpha Challenge Ladder and um, a few people in the community and um, some of my coaches have established um, the Dewey Evans Youth Tennis Foundation. This is a foundation which um, supports players like me and allow us to compete on the highest level possible. Okay. And you also mentioned your father being involved in his legacy and your coach since you started tennis. What is that like? You're probably one of the few, uh, any you know, top level uh, junior players in Atlanta. Any way that's coached, coached by your dad, does that, does that work out well? Um, it really does. I mean, it works. We have, there's some drawbacks. I mean, being on the court with your dad, we don't always listen to each other and kind of get in a few fights here and there. But, um, but overall, I mean, it's just help build our relationship and you know we get to spend a lot of quality time together and you know I couldn't ask for a better coach or father. Okay, we'll talk about the future a little bit. I know you're going to Georgia. I'm sure you're looking forward to that next year and then uh, also players at your level I guess the, uh, the idea of playing coaching at some time might appeal to you. Um, well I would um, in the future I would love to play pro tennis but first you know um, I'm going to go and try to get a degree you know that comes first and as far as like just right here in the recent. I hope that I'll be able to go to the Junior French and um, Wimbledon Championships. And I got a wild card into a few satellite tournaments. So um, I hope to play a few professional events as an amateur. And then um, this summer, um, I'm going to compete in the hard court and clay court championships. And hopefully, we'll be able to finish my junior career playing in the Junior US Open. OK. Well, Ted, well, good luck with all that. And I'm sure we'll be hearing about you for years to come in the Senate circuit. Thank you, Todd. Let's sure. well, stick around, Stan, for more of Matt Point Atlanta. Hang around for Match Point Atlanta, where you sound off about your tennis pet peeves. Don't be shy. These guys certainly aren't. How do they keep getting court time? Another net nuance later in the show. Fun, energy, and lots of tennis have returned to the Racket Club of the South. Now in the old WCP location in Norcross, Racket Club of the South is offering memberships with perks you'll have to see to believe. For starters, how about eight air-conditioned indoor courts and 18 outdoor courts? Or work out in the brand new fitness center, complete with luxurious new locker room. Afterwards, sample cuisine from the new sports grill and dining room. It's a brand new game at the Racket Club of the South in Peach Tree Corner, Atlanta's only tennis country club. Ask about memberships today. Hey, juniors, tennis excitement is coming to your neighborhood this summer. Parents, if you have or know a child aged 6 to 11, then call the Tennis Star Initiative Program. The same people training Atlanta's best juniors are traveling to neighborhoods all over town, ready to coach your budding tennis star. Children will receive instruction three days a week at your subdivision or neighborhood and ask about Advantage Atlanta, which helps provide subsidies toward the fee. A joint program from the Atlanta Tennis Academy and the Dewey Evans Youth Tennis Foundation. The Tennis Star Initiative, making stars of juniors in your neighborhood this summer. Carry Paul Ford. Number one in bands announces an automotive exclusive. Buy a new conversion van. Carry Paul will triple your money down. Put 1000 down. Carry Paul triples it to 3000 Ripple your money down up to $6,000. That means huge reductions to your payment. Luxury vans from $299 a month. With just $299 down. Or low 4.9% financing. Triple your money down. $6,000. Only for a limited time. And only at Carry Paul Ford. One mile east of 285 I-20 in Wesley Chapel, Decatur. Call one 800 buy Ford. So you're serious about getting your game in shape. 
Then get serious about your gear before you hit the court. Introducing Serious Tennis, Roswell's only full-service tennis store featuring the Red Hot line of vocal rackets. By now, you've heard about the big grommet system and hotspot technology for consistent winners off the vocal sweet spot. Vocal is Serious Tennis. And speaking of serious, you'll love the huge selection of tennis dresses, footwear, and clothing for the entire family. ATP Tour Caliber Stringing also available. That's Serious. Two miles west of 400 at Mansell Road and Alpharetta Highway. Ready to enjoy this great Atlanta weather? Then head out to any Metrotainment Cafe restaurant. Great food and breezy outdoor dining are available at Einstein, Filibusters, or Cow Tipper. Or stop by Mystical Pizza, Cheyenne Grill, or the Martini Club. Six Atlanta favorites, where your table is waiting. Welcome back to Match Point Atlanta, everybody. I'm Steve McCoy, and this is the part of the show that you might have been waiting for. It's the Fripp Island Giveaway. It's a getaway tennis vacation for two to Fripp Island. Register to win at any of these locations. No purchase necessary. And now, let's recognize this week's winner. Congratulations from Fripp Island Resorts and Match Point Atlanta. That's a great, that was a, that's a good one, because I have a steady partner I've been playing for four years, and I tell you what. This guy questions calls I call out by this much. And he makes terrible calls, but he's a friend of mine, and it's just crazy. We go back and forth like two kids on the court. Oh, ho, that one's out. It's close. That's out. Well, look out of your reach. Admit it. Your parents brought you up to lose graciously. But there's no gracious way to lose your league match to bad calls. That one's out again. You're working the lines, but that one's still wide. Man, we could hook up the Cyclops. You're getting them so close. Look at you with Cyclops. Okay, maybe he's not blatantly cheating. Have you considered that maybe his vision is impaired or that he's having a bad day? Oh, nice try. God. Second bounce. Man, you're quick today. Good try. Enough is enough. I mean, you're going to lose the match. What can you do? Out. Back. Bolt. Wide. Well, as the good book says, let he without fault learn quickly about the double fault. This is Scott Kozlowski. Join us again next time for another Net Nuance. Hey, thanks for watching Match Point Atlanta. And if you've got a story or a news idea, please feel free to share it with us. We might like to see it. Uh, or if you need a number one singles or doubles player for your team, call me, Steve McCoy. I've been known to... To hit his partner with Aaron Spurs and scare small children. No, 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 really. Watch, Leslie. Here I go. Well, you guys are about as much fun as Pete Stampers with a hangover. I'm Steve McCoy. And I'm Leslie Carlson. Until next time on Match Point Atlanta, we'll see you later. Hey, tell a friend about it. Thank you.